T minus four days till liftoff. We are counting down to David Saint Jacques' first mission to space. Blast off is scheduled for Monday. He's got to have butterflies. The Canadian astronaut is part of his first manned trip to the International Space Station since last month's failed Soyuz launch. Now, right now, David Saint Jacques is in quarantine with his crew in Kazakhstan. That's where he's holding his last news conference before blasting off. Here's how he's preparing for Monday's launch. So between now and then, is the, just a continuation of the last minute preparations. Every day we have a review of some part of the uh, procedures uh, and uh, physical training uh, keeps uh, continuing and some reviews of the trajectories, ballistic details, things like that. And of course, uh, some personal preparation. And also in a few days, we will uh, receive our families who will come here, families and friends, uh, all the launch guests. And so there will be a last chance to, to talk to everybody. We're in quarantine, so we can't really, you know, meet face to face. But uh, through, uh, through the glass, uh, we'll be able to, uh, to talk to them. It's going to be particularly uh, busy up there now because, uh, you know, since the last two years didn't make it to orbit, uh, the crew is down to uh, small numbers and they're really eagerly waiting for us to arrive to get some work done. So we're going to be busy initially, but then free time there is. And I think um, uh, for me, what uh, kind of becomes me most is... Uh, to spend some time looking at the Earth. I have this uh, project, which I'm told is, uh, is a nice thing to do, which is to kind of carve out an hour and a half with uh, nothing else to do but look out the window and do a full loop around the world, uh, looking uh, below you. So I hope I'll be able to carve that out uh, eventually. What fun, huh? David St. Jacques went on to say he won't try to top what Chris Hadfield did when he commanded the ISS. You remember Chris singing and playing guitar while he was floating around. But David St. Jacques says he is definitely going to seize the moment when he is up there.